Hi guys, welcome back to Shroom Up. This is my first mushroom grow and I'm going to be attempting it with the North Spore Shroom Tech all-in-one grow bag. This is episode three where we're going to start the fruiting stage. And if you guys are interested in following the journey, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button or leaving me any comments or advice. I do appreciate it. Back in December 2024, I was at MJ BizCon and I came across the North Spore booth and I'd always wanted to try a mushroom grow. So I was kind of hooked after I spoke to the guys at the booth. And then when I got back home from MJ BizCon, I contacted them and got myself some samples. Now, the kit does not come with any spores or liquid culture. You have to do your own research on the type of mushrooms that you want to grow. I ended up choosing a liquid culture for my first attempt because based on my research, a liquid culture is the equivalent to having seedlings as opposed to seeds in your syringe. So you have a higher chance of successful grows and inoculating the substrate. So I basically went with liquid culture for my first attempt and I inoculated two bags with the liquid culture. Then in the second episode, we did the break and shake. And as you can see, the mycelium had spread into the substrate about 20 or 25%, which based on my understanding and research is a good time to kind of break up the mycelium into smaller chunks and then spread it amongst the rest of the substrate to get a full colonization of the bag. This is three days after the break and shake. And as you can see, the whole kind of colonization of these bags has started. It's almost full. It's quite surprising how quickly it grows. So really happy about that. You can see that it's on its way. It's still got a long way to go. I'm basically just going to leave it in this dark box here, check in every day, and then once the bag is fully colonized, we will go on to the next stage, which is the fruiting stage, where we basically add some oxygen into the bag, and that should trigger the fruiting stage. So, two weeks later, and the whole bag had been colonized, as you can see, and it was, um, it was pretty solid. It's not how I expected it to look. It looks like um, coral. It's very tough as well. It doesn't really look like any kind of... I don't really know what mushrooms and fungus look like when they're growing, but I guess I thought it would look something different. It does seem to have a lot of yellow liquid in there, condensation, and basically moisture. So we're going to use these rubber bands, and this is to prevent side pinning. So we're going to put them around the bottom of the bag and it prevents oxygen getting to the side of the cake, which is the colonized substrate inside the bag. Now, the reason we don't want side pinning is because we want the mushrooms to grow up big and kind of, you know, use that space above the cake as opposed to kind of like getting squashed up all at the sides there. So, Hopefully I've done this right. I used the elastic bands and I hope that's tight enough. So what we're going to move on to next is the fruiting stage where basically we're going to cut a slice above the filter patch, about a three inch slice as you can see there. And then I'm going to kind of expand and close this bag kind of like a lung and try to get some fresh oxygen in there. You can already smell inside the bag. It smells kind of um, a little bit like spices or herbs it doesn't really smell like mushrooms it has a very kind of um very unusual smell it's kind of sweet and herby and spicy so i i don't really know whether all of the different species smell different again this is my first attempt at this so i basically wore rubber gloves and cleaned everything with the 70 percent isopropyl alcohol and then kind of expanded and closed the bag just to kind of like vacuum some of the fresh air circulation in there. After I'd done that, I placed both of the grow bags in a small Vivo Sun grow tent. And then I placed it on a 12-12 lighting schedule to simulate basically daylight and the sun outside. Now, hopefully this is going to grow. I have no idea how quickly mushrooms grow. So I'm basically going to sit and wait. But Apparently, you should see the signs within a few days. 
I'm eagerly waiting for these mushrooms to get going. It's uh, it's kind of fascinating for me just to kind of see this new process going. After seven days of starting the fruiting stage, I could see these pins at the side here, especially on the bag on the left. Now, the bag on the right also had some, but they're not as visible as the one on the left here. This one on the left has just kind of exploded. So we're going to open up this bag. We're going to create a hood and get a lot more oxygen in there. And then also we're going to be able to get a better look at these new mushroom growths and the pins and try to get a time lapse from above and basically watch these mushrooms grow. Now the bag on the right, it does have one or two little pins in there. They're a lot smaller. I'm assuming that different species have different grow rates because they've been basically under the same conditions right up until now. So we're actually going to separate these. I'm going to put this left one in here in the Vivo Sun tent and then I'm going to time lapse it. And then the bag on the right, I'm actually going to put that into a plastic tub to see if it pins separately in there. This is eight days after the fruiting stage. And I'm going to cut this hood across this line here and then when it is cut into a hood you can open and close it and still create like a humidity dome I guess but really I just want to cut this open so that I can actually try and get a, a time lapse take a better look at the mushrooms there's a lot of kind of um, mycelium growth and gunk at the side here as well as condensation I really want to just cut it open and get a good look at see what's going on inside there. So I'm going to cut across here, right across the width of the front of the bag, right to the back of the bag as well, and create kind of like a hinge, as you can see. They stink. They smell very like sweet and herby and a little bit kind of spicy. It's not a, uh, it's not like a, a tasty smell, but it's a very kind of, um, it's a distinct smell. I'm not sure whether all species smell the same. If you've grown before and you know whether all species smell the same, please leave a comment below and let me know. But uh, yeah, really happy that I'm off to a uh, kind of like a start here with my first mushroom grow. I'm going to separate the two. I'm going to do one video that's going to concentrate on this bag and then we'll edit a separate video, concentrate on the other bag. But we've got the start of our first mushrooms. I'm really happy. It seems to be a lot way, way more straightforward than I kind of imagined. I guess I'm used to growing differently and that takes a lot more care and attention. I think a lot of the work in this is up front and then making sure that you're, you know, hygienic and clean. But yeah, I think we just sit and watch right now. There doesn't seem to be that much maintenance. Now I know we can kind of get multiple flushes from this bag and I believe that once we've harvested these mushrooms we just have to soak the cake again in water, place it in a humidity kind of uh, dome or monotub and then watch to see if it re-flushes and re-pins again. All right guys, stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Bye-bye.